Police had rounded up more than a thousand men, a wide sweep to track down the killer of the child whose death had caused outrage in Pakistan. In the end, the search narrowed to the neighbourhood where the girl lived. Punjab province's most senior official, Shabar Sharif, says the DNA of 24-year-old Imran Ali is a match. He alleges Ali confessed to her murder and seven others. And while Ali's yet to stand trial or enter a formal plea, Sharif called for him to be hanged. Zainab's killer has been arrested. His name is Imran. He is a resident of Kusur. He's 24 years old. He is a serial killer. Zainab Ansari was last seen alive in this grainy CCTV footage, holding the hand of an unknown man and being led away. Her parents were on pilgrimage in Saudi Arabia at the time. They accused the police of doing little when they reported her missing. She was found dead four days later in the city of Kasur, raped and strangled to death and discarded in a rubbish dump. News of her death ignited simmering frustration on social media and on the streets of a number of cities at perceived police inaction and the government's failure to protect children. In February last year, police had shot dead a suspect in the killing of another child as he allegedly tried to escape. They're still investigating whether he was innocent, but in the months that followed, there were reportedly 12 other child murders in Kasur district, including Zainab. The hashtag justice for Zainab trended in Pakistan. Demonstrations turned violent and two people were killed. Local reports say the suspect is known to the family. Zainab's father, Mohammed Amin, has denied rumours he's a relative and lent his voice to calls for Zainab's killer to be hanged. Today during the committee meeting, I demanded the accused be hanged publicly. Since there is no provision for that in the Constitution, they moved an amendment process for it. Kasur drew international attention two years ago when police arrested several suspects in a child sex and pornography ring. Hundreds of videos of child molestation surfaced. An official told Al Jazeera that Ali had been taken in for questioning in the initial sweep, but was released because of a lack of evidence. <laughs> Police say they believe Zainab's killer is now in custody, but given the reaction to her death, it will likely take more than a single arrest to restore confidence. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.